Hello YouTube, this is you Amir Abane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn a grow effect uh, which is most of the time used by Ben TK in his videos and I think he is the founder and CEO of that uh, particular effect because he uh, used that effect in his videos for the first time and then, then most of the people started using it by uh, after watching him and some people started copying him you know. So, uh, I don't recommend to you guys that uh, you should copy exactly this effect you should go more creative with your work and find your own style but but when most of the time watch that video people think that that effect is really hard to do or it's really need some um, witchcraft after effect skills but it's not like that you can even do that effect in your premiere pro so that's what we are then going to learn today and we are going to learn that effect inside the premiere pro this effect is really simple and just it takes a little bit time to uh, find that perfect spot while doing that effect so i will explain that in deep uh, so let's jump into the premiere pro and start editing that effect so here we are inside the premiere pro and we have this footage into the project panel and we are going to drag this footage into the timeline and after dragging this footage into a timeline as you can see it's a little bit too shaky so what we are going to do here is we are going to come to effects and we are going to search for a warp stabilizer and we are going to drag this warp stabilizer onto our footage so it is just a way to create a smooth looking footage and it really helps to make your footage a little bit stable so there you go it's a little bit stable than before and it will help us in the next procedure what we are going to do so now the next step is select this video hold alt and drag the video in the upper section so it will create a duplicate copy of that video now we are going to select the upper video and we are going to come under effects control and over here we can see there is a pen tool under opacity and we are going to use that pen tool to create a mask around that building which we want to move just be careful with uh, the parts where you can uh, you might encounter some other parts of buildings or other buildings so just create a perfect mask and yeah uh, there you go and uh, for now we are just going to make this mask feather at zero and mask expansion like around six or seven and as you can see there is no change in the video so the next step to see a change is you are going to check into this inverted box and the next step is to select the that bottom layer of the video and after selecting that video under effect control you will see there is a position of x and y axis so you can move that layer into x and y axis like this so this is the y axis so as you can see the building is moving up and down like this now we know how to move the building now what we need to do is we need to animate the properties of that movement of buildings so we can tell premiere pro that we want to move that building at particular time so that's what we are going to do we are going to create a keyframe by toggling this animation button uh, which is a little stopwatch over here and it will create a keyframe over here and after creating keyframe we are going to drag this building down now we will move few frames forward into the video and create another keyframe and after creating the keyframe we are going to click on this reset parameter so it will just make that it will just put that building into its original position so what we did at this part is we told premiere pro that at this keyframe we want our building at its original position and and at this keyframe we told premiere pro that we want our building to go down so uh, what is going to happen is it is going to stay down at till this point and from this point it is going to come up really fast so if you want to change the speed you can change the distance between these two keyframes so uh, if we will drag them closer it will come up more faster so there you go as you can see there is a movement in the building now now select both of these keyframes and right click on it and go to temporal interpolation and click on auto bezier so it will make that movement a little bit smooth now we have almost done the movement of the building how we want but now what we need to do is we need to of course there is a black part which is coming behind the video so we need to get rid of that so what we are going to do for that is 
first let's just make this a uh, little bit big so we are just going to drag both of these videos in upper section and we are going to leave this uh, most bottom section blank because we are going to put something over there and we are going to come over here and hit on new item and create a new color mat and hit ok it doesn't matter what color it is right now now we are going to search for gradient and we will find an effect called as four color gradient and we are going to uh, drag that effect onto color mat so under uh, effect control of that color mat you will see this uh, four color gradient map and over here as you can see the yellow part is in the left upper corner so we are going to click on this dropper and uh, we are going to select this color which is over here now we are going to select the green part and we are going to click on here so now we are going to do that same thing with all of this uh, colors four colors so it will create a mask of same colors behind the video you see we still have some hard edges over there so so to get that colors perfect you will need to move that uh, droppers here and there and move the sliders over here and there so so we still have some hard edges but we will dive into that later and we will fix that but before that we have some important thing to do that is uh, motion blur and if you don't know motion blur is really important part in video editing because anything that moves has a motion blur in video so we are going to search for blur uh, and as you know uh, we don't have motion blur in premiere pro because motion blur is just in after effects so we are going to use directional blur and put it on our uh, building video and we are going to come over here under that video and you will see a motion blur properties over here and you can move uh, some directions so so right now our building is moving up and down so we will keep that direction at zero degree and we won't move that uh, you will just need to decide <coughs> the blurness of your footage footage we will find a point where building haven't appeared yet and we will create a keyframe and we will increase the blur to around 30 and now we will find a point where building stops uh, moving and we will create another keyframe by clicking over here and click on reset parameter so it will uh, come to zero again and as you can see it uh, has some motion blur now because it is moving it will make it more look more realistic and if you don't know motion blur is very important in video editing so now let's uh, back to so now let's get back to the background uh, color fixing and we will just try again to uh, work here and there so as I told you before it's just about uh, practice and some experiments so you can move your droppers here and there and you will find a perfect spot where your background colors will match your sky. So the end part the most important so now the end part and we just have so now it's almost done just the thing is we have some hard edges over the building when it comes up as you can see over here. So. Uh, to fix that what we are going to do is we are going to select the building layer and we are going to come under opacity and we are we can select anything we want like a triangle circle or pen tool but right now I am just selecting the triangle tool and we can create a mask around that building like this so it won't show the part of that sky uh, when the building moves up so yeah there you go the just the thing that we need to do over here is we will need to move the mask as it moves the building moves upward so uh, we will create another keyframe by toggling the animation over here and when the building reaches its original position so after uh, it reaches its original position we will adjust the mask and as you can see it's following the mask if you will add some sound effects this is how it is going to look So that was the video for today guys if you enjoyed this video just don't forget to like this video and comment down below how was it if it helped you in any way and subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials and travel related content i post travel videos and some video editing tutorials so yeah that's it and follow me on instagram at direct and i will see you in the next one sayonara